Talofa. Talofa. I'm Alicia. My name is Joe, and you're watching Jamily TV. If this is your first time here, please consider hitting the subscribe button over down that way. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back to watch some more. Today we are at the Sheraton Beach Resort in Mulifanua. So we're really excited to bring you guys this resort review. Usually when we vlog, we kind of talk to you guys in the moment. But for these resort reviews, we get an opportunity to kind of have like a recap, to kind of think about it, percolate our experiences, and then come share our experiences with you guys. Part of the reason we're doing that is because we want to just enjoy the amenities ourselves and experience it like you guys would experience it if you were to come here on holiday. So just starting right off the bat, when you come into the Sheraton, you're welcomed by a big, huge sign that lets you know that you are here, which is <laughs> awesome. And then you come down this beautiful, gorgeous drive lined with coconut trees all along the way. And then you get close to the resort and the big old S shows you that you're here. And then you pull in underneath the awning. The drums start playing, which always makes me want to dance. Me too. I love to dance. Don't believe him. <laughs> the drums start going, you get out of the car, everyone's there to welcome you, especially if they know that you're coming. Um, if they know exactly when you're coming, then they'll, they'll bring out the drums for you. You got a couple guys that pull out your suitcases for you. Daddy, hold it. There you go. There you go. This wasn't our first time coming to the Sheraton Resort, but it was our first time spending the night here. We've had breakfast and lunch here previously because it's very close to Faliolo Airport. So when we've had family coming or going, we've stopped in to have a nice meal with them before. But we were so excited to be able to stay and experience resort life luxury <laughs> hashtag resort life right after we got here we were escorted immediately to our rooms we actually had two rooms for us their rooms only accommodate up to five people and we have six in our family so the girls stayed in one room they had two queen beds in that room and then plus that they had a cot a crib in there for noli also and then they had an adjoining room which was awesome so then we could just go right back and forth without having to go outside and come back in they just had a, an adjoining door there so that we could just go back and forth in between the two rooms and our room was amazing huge super comfy king bed my favorite part though is probably the shower like <laughs> as I closed my eyes in that shower with unlimited hot water and amazing water pressure I kind of felt like I was in America in a good way hot water and water pressure we don't have that luxury in Samoa where we live so it was so nice to be able to enjoy that. The bathroom also, the girls were so excited because they had little individually wrapped toothbrushes with like these oh, yeah. micro toothpastes. <laughs> and like the girls could have just gotten those and gone home happy. They <laughs> and, loved and, them. And lotion, mouthwash. The girls were just like head over heels excited. <laughs> toothpaste. <laughs> Look at the baby toothpaste. That's another benefit of moving to Samoa. Your kids get excited over <laughs> Very <toothbrushes>. small things. <laughs> They're very grateful kids though. <laughs> they do have their own toothbrushes that we brought from America, but they weren't in these nice little packs that Sheraton stocks the rooms with. So when we walked into the room, there were flowers on the beds. There's a beautiful fruit platter that was shaped like a pineapple with the fruits, which I guess they provide for VIP guests. So somehow we became VIP on this trip, which was nice. <laughs> I don't know what you do to do that, but if you can be VIP and get that fruit tray, it's awesome. But what was even more important to us, the Bonvoy Club. So the Bonvoy Club is exclusive to the Marriott family of hotels, which includes the Ritz Carlton, Marriott's, Westin's, the W, Sheraton, Fairfield, Starwood Suites. Many, many, many hotels. <laughs> tons of places. I think they have like almost 7,000 locations worldwide. So anyway, join the Bonvoy Club and then you get special privileges. One of the special privileges that you get is all of your kids 
get special little plush toys every time you get to come and visit. And so it's a really cool thing to give the kids these little cute mm -hmm. little plush toys that they really like. They can collect them. Yeah, like Little Miss Sunshine and Noli got two little turtles in her crib and she's obsessed with them. <laughs> and so that's part of being in the Bonvoy Club, which is free for you to join. So make sure to join the Bonvoy Club. We'll put a link in the description below so that you can get there easily. It's definitely worth it because you get free internet at all of their properties. Including Samoa, where internet is a so expensive. expensive and you have access to discounted rates at all of their properties and it's free to join so definitely should take advantage of that the room was actually immaculate it was super clean the sheets and duvet were so awesome so nice so funny how much you miss feeling a blanket or duvet on you when you're sleeping when you've gone a year sleeping with just a sheet or no sheet. <laughs> <laughs> they have a really awesome TV with a bunch of different channels, movie channels. HD channels also, super clear, not like typical Samoan broadcasting. They have a mini fridge. Oh, also another benefit of being a Bonvoy member is they have like water all over the place if you're a Bonvoy member. So just make sure to sign up for that. There were robes with slippers, mm. which our girls also love. They were hanging out in the robes, just chilling. <laughs> Hashtag resort life. Our shower was a stand-up shower with a rain head and a handheld shower. The girls had a bathtub with a handheld shower. Both rooms had a balcony. Another amazing thing about Sheraton is every single room on the property is ocean view, actual view of the ocean. All, I don't know, 145 rooms or something like that, all ocean view. It's amazing. So you will not be disappointed with your view no matter what room you get on the property. Patios are all really private. The grounds are just unbelievable. Acres and acres of sheer beauty. We came here on a Friday night, which allowed us to be able to attend their Fia Fia night, which was awesome. We really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was super high energy. The stage isn't that huge, but they managed to fit a lot of people on there and it just felt super exciting with so many people. The band before Fia Fia night started and played during Fia Fia night were amazing also. We just love hearing live music. We love the show. They come onto the beach for the Siva Afi afterwards. It was really awesome. Real fun and interactive experience. Zara got picked to go up on stage and dance with someone named Rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was really cool. Zara needs to work on her face so that she's not so upset, but uh, <laughs> she was just concentrating so hard. Thank you. 
guest only tonight, two tala for a pair of shoes. <laughs> You ready? Uh, no? Sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. <laughs> okay. Only you. Dress rehearsal. For time! Job, Zaz. It was out of her comfort zone, but she did great. <laughs> yeah, Alicia, meanwhile, wanted to throw me the She's baby. Like, hey, hello, over here. I'll get up. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> Le aifa fatai, old lady. <laughs> Tina Matua. No falalo. No falalo. <laughs> <laughs> so the entertainment was spectacular. We had such a good time there, and everybody had a good time. It wasn't just us enjoying it. Like all the Palangis had a good time there too. So <laughs> lots of fun. And then the food. The food was amazing. So yum. Lots of times when you go to Fia Fia nights or any kind of buffet. The food is not really that top notch, but man, it was really, really good there. Yeah. They had a large variety. There was palusami, there was kalo, there was a lot of nice local options, as well as... Hey, oka. I don't eat oka. There was oka. My auntie didn't make it. You guys know that she makes the best oka and palusami on the island. She did not make this oka. But he um, still went back for like thirds and fourths. <laughs> yeah, fourths. It was good. Great variety. Plenty of food for the girls. They loved it. Also in the Bonvoy Club, they got got little bracelets to let them get oh, yeah. a free ice cream at certain times of the day. It was free unlimited ice cream between like 1 and 3 p.m. or something so of mm -hmm. course they tore that up. If you do have kids and you come to one of the shows, Noli was a little bit scared. We were sitting right by the stage however when they started and it was just really intense energy. There was another family with a little baby. They moved to the back of the restaurant after sitting there I think because of the intensity. So you know depending on how your kids react to things like that some may love it she calmed down quickly joe was holding her and she was then excited to watch but it is a little unnerving at first 100 percent, you need to come to the sheraton and spend at least one day here preferably at the end of your trip because if it's at the beginning you won't ever want to leave and go actually see <laughs> samoa which is why you're here you need to go see samoa the property is amazing it's so beautiful but it's really expansive i thought a few times like if joe's mom were with us she she would have had a hard time getting around to all the places that we went especially we did a tour of the property but like joe's mom could have never walked all of that way and back to our room and to the restaurants for dinner so if you do have anyone who has a difficult time walking you may want to have wheelchair for them or something along those lines to get from side to side because it's just really spread out from the main lobby all the way to the Manaya Spa, which again is gorgeous, but it's probably about 500 meters, maybe 700 meters to get there. So it's just a little bit of a walk, just a little thing to be concerned about if you have somebody who has trouble walking. After the Fia Fia night was done, I think the show was probably about an hour and a half or something like that. We got the girls to bed and we all tuckered out. I think we fell asleep at like 10 o'clock that night, which is really early for us. I woke Alicia up at 8.30 and I was like, babe, we gotta get going. She's like, what time is it? <laughs> I said, it's 8.30, she's like, no way. So another benefit of this place. The blackout curtains let the kids sleep in a little bit longer and not come waking us up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> yeah, so that was really awesome. So then that just led us into breakfast and breakfast was delicious. So yum. It's also buffet style. In what they call the Apolina Fale. <laughs>
I ran into a cousin that I didn't know I had. Hi. This is Tile. Yay. <laughs> Tile is uh, a Fitzmanu as well, so really awesome to be able to run into her here at the Sheraton Resort. I wasn't even know that he's got a pop up, but it was great to know him. <laughs> and the Apuluma Falle is so beautiful. The carvings here on all of the columns are just amazing. So beautiful. And the ceiling in there, it's like when Moana climbs to the top in the movie to like fix the sway. In Motonui. <laughs> yeah, Moana Motonui. No, it's just beautiful. It's a traditional folly. So it has the poles holding everything up, the traditional coconut husk ropes that hold everything up. So really, really beautiful traditional folly style there. Right after breakfast, we asked for a resort tour because we wanted to find out like, what are all the things that we can do here? There are so many things to do here, including kayaking, paddle boarding over at the Pure Ocean Station. You can even get paddy certified for scuba diving here. They will take you out scuba diving. There's snorkeling gear. Give me something, something good. largest air-conditioned gym in Samoa is at this yeah. resort and it also has the most amazing view you can look out in this tree canopied ocean view like it was amazing going it's in there a storybook working out. That, yeah. that gym is a storybook it also has a sauna which we kind of live in a sauna so <laughs> I'm unsure who wants to go in there but if you want a more dry sauna than Samoa is you can go in there and have a seat <laughs> get your sauna on they also have the cutest little chapel that is actually a functioning chapel. They hold mass on Sundays and a lot of local church attendees come and they'll do it in Samoan and English if there's any guests who want to go to the services. And they have these little peninsulas they've built on the water, little jetties kind of. One of them is where they hold weddings and it's just beautiful. They had recently had a wedding before we came, so they had this heart, I don't even know what you call it, it was like made out of palm fronds, heart shape, so pretty. And there's power out there so that you can have lights, and they're saying when you have an evening wedding with the sunset going down behind you, like it's just magical. I can definitely see why people would want to come here and get married. They said a lot of people do vow renewals here as well. Yeah. largest pool in all of Samoa is here at the Sheraton Samoa Beach Resort. Just with the 
There's also a swim up bar in the pool, yeah. which is pretty cool. We didn't actually get any drinks from it, but we saw many people who were ordering drinks there and it looks kind of fun to be able to drink in the pool. So they have alcoholic drinks, but they also have mocktails as well. And then they have specials for happy hour. I think happy hour is from three to five and then like nine to 11 PM or something like that also. The pool is basically four and a half to five feet across the whole thing, but they do have one section where it's about one foot. It's maybe about five meters in diameter for your kids to enjoy. So kind of a nice place for them. Yeah, Noli loved hanging out in that pool. Lots of belly flops. <laughs> We actually came back because on Tuesday nights they have Polynesian night and the difference between Polynesian night and Fia Fia night is they perform traditional dances and such from various parts of Polynesia, not just Samoa, which Fia Fia night is strictly Samoan. And also the food. The food is strictly Samoan on Fia Fia night. On Polynesian night, it's food from different islands. So really awesome there that they kind of incorporate all of Polynesia into a single night. Mm -hmm. Lots of fun. Aside from the Fale where they have the buffets and the Fia Fia night and Polynesian night, they also have a la carte restaurants and room service. When I went to the spa for my facial, the girls were actually kind of tired and hungry. So we actually ordered room service for them and they were super happy eating room service and watching some TV while we went to the spa. That was really, really nice. So how's your stay been so far, babe? So nice. Like we live in paradise <laughs> in Samoa, but coming here was like paradise with some nice modern amenities and really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a glorious day. We aren't here long enough, unfortunately. Wish we could just move in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we're on our way to the spa right now. Excited to try that out. <laughs> Another amazing feature that this resort has that isn't offered anywhere else in Samoa is they have a kids club for kids ages three to 12. And it's from, I believe, eight in the morning to five in the evening. And they actually teach you like weaving. They do a lot of cool things while you're there, like palm frond weaving. The only reason we didn't send our girls there when we were at the spa it's because Noli's not quite old enough and Zara's too old. So it was easier for us to just have them hang out in the room and eat room service. But if you have kids in that age group, I would have loved to send them all there. And Evangeline and Amma were actually really sad. They're like, well, why can't we just go? <laughs> that would have been a really nice thing for them to be able to experience. But truth be told, they also needed a nap. So yeah. that was the other thing. Yep. He said, alumoy. <laughs> There's also a little game room on the property. It has a billiards table in there and a little library, they said, from so many guests who have left books behind after they go home from their vacation. So I thought that was kind of nice that they put those to use and let people come find nice books. Another cool thing, on the way to the spa, you'll see there's signs saying there's like a walking trail. I believe it's about five kilometers that you can walk around the property and there's signs marking the way. They said, you may run into dogs or something, so be prepared to say, halu. 
Hello. and pick up a rock or something sometimes, but they said it's a really beautiful walk. We didn't make that 5K walk because we just didn't have time this time. Yeah. We only stayed one night, even though we had a late checkout, which late checkout is also a benefit. You can check out as late as 4 p.m., which was really cool. But we actually stayed a little bit longer because we had a little bit more filming to do. Plus, they invited us to stay for dinner that night as well. And they also have a little bit more international cuisine in their other a la carte restaurant, which we had. It was delicious. You should know drones are not actually allowed here normally. We received special permission to be able to film with the drone because we were doing this collaboration with Sheraton Resorts. And we were only allowed to film over the ocean itself. We couldn't film over the resort. The resort is very close to Faliolo Airport as we mentioned. So on certain days where there's more flights you will hear more planes but wasn't disturbing to us at all. They said that probably 90% of their guests who come here stay for about a week and don't leave the resort. Which I can understand because it's amazing here and there's so much to do and it's so beautiful and so relaxing and the staff were amazing and the food was so delicious. You really don't have to leave, but you should because you need to go experience Samoa, Samoa instead of just being pampered at the resort. <laughs> so it is a great place to come. A lot of people come and stay here before they go to Savai'i because it's right next to the wharf also. Or a lot of people come here and stay right when they arrive or right when they're going to leave Samoa because it is close to the airport. So it's super convenient for those reasons. But we still recommend that you get out and go to like the east side of the island or the south side of the island and experience all that Samoa has to offer. So summary of the resort, incredible. Amazing. We really, really, really enjoyed our stay here. And we can't imagine that there is a single person on earth who would not enjoy their stay mm -hmm. here at the Sheraton Samoa Beach Resort. Yeah. We kind of were wondering if we could like have a part-time home here, enjoy the rooms and the air conditioning and the duvet and shower, TV, all of it. It would be really nice to call this home. Even if you just call it home for a day, it's worth it. Yeah, it's definitely worth the stay. Make sure that you're signed up to the Bonvoy Club before you get here, because then you can get tons of discounts. You might be able to get your room free if you get enough points. And then you also get those little plush toys for your kids, mm -hmm. make their day. And free Wi-Fi. You can't forget the free Wi-Fi here in Samoa. In Samoa, it's a big deal. You guys might not like understand how important that is, but it is a really big deal here in Samoa. Yeah. We just want to say thank you so much to Sheraton Samoa Beach Resort for hosting us. You guys were amazing. We loved our stay. We loved meeting the staff members and we hope to be back soon to stay again sometime. We'll definitely be back for dinners. If you live locally in Samoa, come do a little weekend getaway here. Or if you have family in town, bring them for the Fia Fia night or bring them for the Polynesian night. Or if you're picking somebody up from the airport, breakfast is served between 6 and 10 a.m. If they arrive on the 6 o'clock flight, which many of the flights here are 6 a.m., then you should just head straight over here and get their breakfast because it's really good. Or if they're on the evening flight, make sure to come over here for any of the dinners because whether it's a la carte dinner at the South Pacific restaurant or it's one of those special nights like Tuesday night for Polynesian night or Friday night for Fia Fia night, definitely worth it. If you guys enjoyed this resort review, please give it a thumbs up and comment below if you've ever stayed here or if you think you might stay here on your travels to Samoa. Hit that subscribe button over down that way. Please consider it and hit the little bell next to it so that you know when we upload a new video. Also if you guys don't follow us on Instagram be sure to head over there and follow us because that's where we put more live and current things as they're happening in our stories and it's a good way to stay in touch with what's happening in Samoa right now. Manuili aso. Fa.